right time? Everybody all right? We, uh, let's see, yeah. We uh, tried to think of everything at uh, request we got to do before we run out of time. Uh, I was fortunate enough to get to write, uh, uh, I, I asked Larry Cordell, one of the greatest writers of all time, one of my heroes, and happens to be one of my best friends, um, to write a song with me about the Hatfield and McCoys. And um, I, I got him to do that, and that was a blessing. And then I thought, well, I just couldn't imagine to have it on a record without him helping me sing it. And, uh, it went all the way to the number one spot five different times, and it was the 11th most played song in bluegrass music for the whole year. So uh, we are so tickled and blessed to have that, and thankful for him. And uh, we'll throw that on you now, if y'all. States, they were the best good friends. Then they were the dancers in the gym. And although they couldn't prove it, they all knew it was true. Then a missing heart was the final straw. blew up on the side of the highway and she waited. And it ain't been all that long ago, like 13 years ago when we first got together. And uh, I said, look, 
if you'll still go out with me to the late movie, I want to. I want. I definitely want to do this. Uh, see how it goes, and I'll just go back to work when the movie's over. And she said, "Okay, that's fine." I said, "Well, uh, there's a little catch." And she said, "What's that?" And I said, "Well, you got to drive, and you got to pick me up at my mommy's house." And true, and she did. And we got to the movie theater, and I give the lady my debit card, and she looked at me and says, hee, hee, "We don't take debit cards here. This is all cash." I hadn't talked to her face to face more than like 45 minutes. I, I just looked at her and I said, well, honey, do you have any money? Because I ain't got a dime on me and they ain't going to let us in if you ain't. And she read, that's true. And she read me a $50 bill. So I paid for the tickets and as we was walking in, I didn't want to ask her for anything else. So I just went by her and I said, I'm going to get some pop, pop, corn, juju, -ju beans. You want anything? And she said, no. And I said, okay. So I gave her the change that was left. But halfway through the movie, I said, well, what do you think? She said, I think you ain't shut up. I think it's time to go home. I said, back to your house? She said, back to your mommy's house. <laughs> so out through the parking lot, I started thinking, you big dummy, you really like this woman and you are blowing it. And I said, hey, honey. <laughs> she said, what? I said, did you know I could sing? She said, no, I did not. I said, well, I can. She said, good for you. I said, my buddy's got a guitar and he only lives an hour away. If you'll take me over, I'll play you a song. She said, I don't want to hear you. I said, but I'll play you a song. She said, I, I, I'm not interested in hearing you. I said, look, if you will take me by there and let me play you one song, if you don't like it, you'll never hear from me again. All right, but if you do, I get a second date and get to do this again. I, I get a redo. She said, and honest to God, folks, she didn't miss a blink. She looked me right now and she said, do you swear that you wouldn't even write me a letter if you got the urge? I said, I swear. She said, get in the car. <laughs> so we got to my buddy's house. He's laying on the couch like a big dead frog. I said, hey, this woman's going to marry me. And he said, she don't even like you. I said, yet. <laughs> he was the best man in our wedding. <laughs> My whole moral is, no matter how bad it looks, it will get better, I promise. And uh, she's the best thing that ever happened to me, man. I'm telling you, she is a blessing. And uh, so if you got somebody that you love, this may be a special song for you. Take a hold of their hand. Now, wait a minute. If you don't know the person sitting beside you, don't go to grabbing them hands. I've seen, I'm from Kentucky. I've seen this get ugly. <laughs> Please come to Boston for the springtime. Stay in here with some prayer. They got a lot to do. You can sell your paintings on the sidewalk. No, you come home with me. And she said, Grand boy, why don't you settle down? Boston ain't your kind of town. Ain't no road and there ain't no black way. I'm the number one fan of me, Tennessee. Yes. 
so kind. Have you had a good time? Can you hear me?